friend's house and they were playing it and I was so intrigued that it was a completely different style of game you know back then I think okay all games are like either Mario or whatever but this was very different and uh, eventually I got my own copy and I played the crap out of this game I can tell you that much uh, I finished it multiple times um, just a sense of exploration um, and like leveling up your character and getting stronger and stuff like that I had so much fun with it. Um, I actually started a series of this game on my channel a while, a long time ago, but it didn't really seem to get many views, so I never continued it, but, um, man, so much fun with this game. Okay, number zero, seven.
it's similar than the first one, but it's better. I should say way better, but anyway. Uh, but anyways, I played the crap out of this uh, very, very difficult game, but I did manage to beat it more than once. I don't think I'd be able to do it today. I, it would take a, you know some practice to get back into it, but um, it's a fantastic game. The music is incredible. Um, actually, it was like it took what the first one did and just improved it. Um, so it's not significantly different than the first one. Other than uh, they changed those pseudo 3D stages to top down stages, but um, yeah, it's just a great game taking a lot of influence from um, Aliens, of course. But anyway, definitely a great game, very, very tough one, but um, definitely doable. Okay, number four. Dracula and stuff of the three phases 
but I managed to, to do it with all the characters, and I think if you play a second time, it's a harder quest, I think I managed to do it on that as well, but I was pretty hardcore back then, I don't know how I pulled that off, but um, just a fantastic game, you can play as uh, Trevor Belmont, plus three other characters, you take along the way, but you can only take one other character at a time, blah blah blah, um, yeah, they just, this is, in my opinion, was the pinnacle of Castlevania. And finally, number one, I don't think will be too much of a surprise. As you P E R M A R I O P R O S 3. Super Mario Bros. 3. And that was. Sorry, 1988 by Nintendo, of course. Um, one of my favorite video games ever. Uh, my favorite uh, Mario game ever. Uh, the end, you know, just man, everybody was in love with this game when it came out. Um, everybody was playing it. So much fun, so many secrets, so many new abilities. Um, you know, this was the Mario game that people had been waiting for for a long time, and they just knocked it out. first time my cousin's house and being like whoa um, you know so much has been said about it I don't know what else I can say um, definitely definitely a fun game um, best NES game of all time probably the best Mario game in my opinion maybe some could argue that Mario 64 was you know better more influential because it influenced you know pretty much every 3d platformer that came after that but in my book Super Mario Bros. 3 